To travel or not to travel? That is the question being debated in millions of American homes right now. Um, and it should be a no-brainer. Memorial Day weekend, the unofficial start of the summer travel season, is here. But when you look at gas prices, airline prices, hotel prices, you can't help but flinch. According to our brand new News Nation Decision Desk HQ poll, 74% of us are very concerned about inflation. 43% of us have made changes to summer travel because of inflation. And 64% of us have outright canceled our vacation plans because of cost. And maybe you are one of them. But it might not be too late or too expensive to go on a trip. Glad you've joined us because Someone who knows everything about getting the best deals and vacations is Johnny Jett. He's the founder and editor-in-chief of johnnyjet.com, a travel site that has become a first stop for thousands of vacationers looking to simplify travel. Okay, Johnny Jett, one of our producers went to go and book the same resort she goes to every summer with her family, and prices had tripled. That sounds like gouging to me, and I'm wondering if it's a trend. I wouldn't call it gouging, but it's really supply and demand. I mean, it's happened everywhere. So, I mean, same thing. I used to be able to fly L.A. to New York for $99. It's now $600 round trip, at least. So I just think it's there's so many people who want to get out there right now. They've been holed up for the last two and a half years, and they want to see their family, and I'm one of them right now. I'm, I'm actually on a, on a trip right now with my family. Oh, I'm glad to hear it. But can you tell me where mm -hmm. the cheapest places to go are? I mean, there, there's got to be some gyms out there for those who just can't afford, you know, Paris or something fancy, New York, you know, they, somewhere else that we can afford. Well, you know, if you want to look at the currency exchange, go to Canada. It's, you, know, you can drive there for most of the U.S. It's 22% off because their dollar is much weaker than ours. Or you go to Turkey, where their where their uh, lira where is, is so devalued, and South Africa. You can you know you can get really good deals once you're there. I mean, when I go to Canada, I'm going to Canada next week, and when I go, let's say I spend hundred dollars at a hotel, it's really only spending uh, seventy eight dollars. So it's it's a great savings instead of going to other places. Actually, even Europe right now, this week it went down. The uh, euro went down to one hundred three. It's one hundred seven right now, but it's a bargain compared to the uh, summers previous. That's a, that's a good exchange rate, yeah. And I, I hear you on the Canada thing. That's where I'm from. So whenever I go home, it's like 30% off. I, lo I love it. So the best time to book, I did not realize this, um, is like now because the pandemic rules for canceling your flights are still in, in play. And it looks like June is sort of a bad time for, for price increases. So lock your flights in now. Is that the, the order of the day? Well, you should have locked them in four months ago. But if you haven't, you yeah. want to buy them before June 1st because uh, they are going to go up and you want to take advantage of these deals. So you can change your flights right now. You know, even if you book right now for December and you decide not to go, you'll be able to cancel that or change it for no fee. You, you won't be able to cancel and get your money back unless they cancel the flight, but you'll be able to at least put that money towards another flight. Okay, Which is why, by then, the way, I recommend booking, oh, booking your trips on U.S. carriers because let's say you do, let's say you're going to go to France. Instead of booking on Air France and you decide not to go, you know, you can't go to Florida. But if you book it on Delta, United, or American, you know, if you decide not to go to France or wherever you're going to go, you can go to Florida, Hawaii, uh, California. You know, you'll be able to use it easy, the credit. Yeah, that's smart. That's smart. Okay, then the next thing is, is gas is a killer right now. So is this the time to maybe be looking at an all-inclusive resort where you go, stay, don't spend any money traveling around and, uh, and, and get everything looked after in one spot? Well, it's not a very immersive experience if you are going to like try and go to see a different culture or something or, or see the local stuff. But yes, that is a great way to save money. Cruises are another way to save money because, you know, all the foods included and entertainment and if you're with your friends, you don't have to worry about who's going to pick up the tab because it's all paid for. Haha, <laughs> good one. That's always a great wedding, too, right? The food and the entertainment and everything's all paid for. Definitely. Johnny I'm Jetta, for sure. I hope you enjoy. I hope you enjoy Stamford, Connecticut, by the way. Uh, it, it, it's nice and close to where I live, so uh, it's like you're in my backyard. Well, and, I grew, and up, I grew up around here. Oh, and my wife's nice from Canada, so. Okay, now we have to have drinks. It's just that's settled. Thank you. It's good to see you. <laughs> You too. Take care. Thank you for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.